there's been so many stories about the egyptian pyramids i'm sure you've heard a lot about them but you know what just take a deep breath today i'm not going to go into history i will veer off and i'll get into something in geography you are going to enjoy this lesson the things that we heard about the egyptian pyramids interest us to know more about history the images of the pyramids have actually been used to define or break down complex concepts for people to understand. Notable among these concepts is the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Those in high schools and colleges must have come across this in their lessons. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the population pyramid. So kindly join me as we try as much as possible to break down this concept. You are watching GCL Tutorials and let's get in. Thank you for staying with me. This is GCL Tutorials. I appreciate all those sharing my videos and the subscriptions you have made and also those who continue to like my videos. If this is the first time you are watching on this channel, please just make sure you subscribe first. Click the notification bell. Don't forget to put a comment in the comment section. It could be a thumbs up or like this video. Now let's get into population pyramid. Some of my viewers actually demanded for it. So that's why I'm doing it as a special lesson them so you should have your pen in your jota and be ready to take notes the name population pyramid actually gives you an idea that the diagram we are going to look at looks like a pyramid so you have to bear that in mind it can also be described as the age structure diagram some can also call it the age sex pyramid so then what is it the population pyramid is a graph that shows the distribution of ages across a population divided down the center between male and female members of the population so it actually takes into consideration age and sex these are two breakdowns when it comes to the study of demography demographers are people who study population structure and know age sex female and then male and look at all the groups age groups those who are infants those who are dependents those who are part of the working force they look at all these things and they study them if you are a student in a high school they should interest you a lot we are also out of school in real life situation you have to understand this pyramid so you can also determine the decisions you take when it comes to adding up to your country's population so basically something we should all know or have an idea about now when you look at the graph it actually starts from youngest at the bottom and then you see that the oldest at the top and it is called population pyramid because when the population is growing you realize that more babies are born and then there are all there are new births then there are people dying so you see people are getting to the top where we are reaching the narrow space or the narrow part of the pyramid so you can see so people actually use this to compare the differences between male and female populations of an area so you see the number of dependents you see children and elderly people the pyramid basically displays the structure and then we see the age groups now look at this you can represent this on the graph when you see the left side of your screen you see age over there so the age groups like the one i'm showing you you have age 0 to 4 age 10 to 14 20 to 24 then goes to 90 to 94 then that's the narrowest part of the pyramid then everything ends there you look at on the x-axis if you are familiar with it the x-axis is the horizontal line the y-axis where the age groups are is a vertical line so you see it's numbered now from 10 to 0 so you'll be asking the question why is it numbered from 10 to 0 so you have to start from the middle so sometimes they can put the age group in the middle yeah so you can uh, create a space there and put it there why different colors the yellow color represents the male and the female on the other side the bars there are showing the percentages of the population so if you trace the age group you will see 10 to 14 there's a bar that is corresponding to 10 to 14 the yellow bar here is for the male and then the green bar here is for the female so that is how it looks like this is the idea you should have in mind about the population pyramid it has types and there are trends that show how the types should look like so the trends could be different different things happening in that particular area or in that country or several factors so these are the three major types of the population pyramid 
you see the images look different so let's start with the expansive when you take the expansive you realize that it has a triangular shape so basically you put that in mind triangular shape then the broad base and narrow top indicating high birth rate and high mortality rate among younger members in most countries in africa because africa is by research having a very young population or youthful population so you can look at that that the base is very broad and the top is very narrow so you see what is happening over there why high birth rate you realize that the fertility rate in this part of the world is very high so more birth but then the life expectancy is very low so they tend to die at a very young age so you see that happening in that expansive pyramid you get it so now look at the next one the population does not increase much in total number and has many young people it's typically a youthful population you can see that over there now let's see the constrictive the constrictive one yes it gives you an idea so here the shape takes an inverted triangle form with a narrower base than the middle so as it's getting to the middle then it begins to shrink and at a point then you see it broadens a bit then it gets narrow to the top what does this indicate it indicates that a shrinking population and it's often seen in developed countries here in these countries you know the health facilities are well improved and then that's health delivery and the care system there is employment so you see a lot of the aged getting to that um, high life expectancy um, level before they die so we realize in this pyramid they are actually recording a low birth rate so they don't have a typical youthful population as we saw in the expansive one and the death rate here is also very low because of their improved health facilities and a high life expectancy a lot of people don't die as we see under the expansive population pyramid that should tell you that there's an aging there's more aging or older population let's see the stationary so the stationary gives a different idea interestingly this one is supposed to take a shape of a pyramid but then it's not looking like a pyramid rather a shape is rectangular a typical one almost like a rectangular shape then with a relative distribution you see that even this the bars here are some way somehow even you get it almost the same so then it moves from the bottom here straight to the top you get it so what does this also indicate there is stable birth rate here death rate here and overall population size the countries with this situation um actually like it they prefer they can take decisions because they know the growth rate does not change drastically that much so they can actually use their stable numbers to plan for the country so that should be taken note of lower proportion of young dependents you get it so here you see the young people um that are supposed to be dependent or depending on the working force the number here is quite manageable it's okay it's lower and there's a larger proportion of older individuals so more people will be working and then typically you also find these old people living very long before they die how do we analyze this thing so as a geography student as a social studies student you should be or student who wants to study statistics you should be able to interpret this when you see a diagram like this so in this particular diagram you see it having the triangular shape we should tell you that the bottom is broad and the top is narrow look at the middle they've placed the age group here in the middle so they have decided to do it 0 to 4 5 to 9 10 to 14 15 to 19 uh, uh, all the way to 75 plus old age now what is happening here you see a white base shows a larger number of children that's high birth rate so there are more births here indents show indents like they begin to shrink as it gets to the top then it's becoming much narrower okay look at the indent showing here there's a higher death lots of the youths are dying okay so it means that there is what low life expectancy look at what is causing this. it could be war it could be famine it could be diseases or people also live in the country because of hardship and um, this unstable economy or economic situation so they could 
just leave the country. That's emigration. I should tell you something. When you now move or drive your way all to the top of the or the apex of the pyramid where the old age people are found. Look at it. A narrow shape at the top shows a low proportion of people living into old age and a high death rate. So look at it. Women live longer than men. Statistically, research has shown why men because of the bedding and all the things that happen to them. So the socioeconomic factors are there. And then some people also use some biological factors to also interpret it. So women are living longer. When you come to the bottom here, look at this side, the right side, less babies than girls. So the diagram shows that then the boys have higher infant mortality rate. Boys die biologically, it has shown. So scientifically, we are told that the boys have weaker immune system, the baby boys, okay, compared to the baby girls. So um, they tend to lose their lives or die. And that number mostly or usually exceeds that of the girls survive. So boys generally have high infant mortality. I'm talking about the baby boys. So this interpretation, you should be able to do this. Always remember the shape. Now, let's move into another interesting shape and then you look at it. So this one has a, prop, a deeper interpretation. This shape changes. It's the United Kingdom 2010. So one of the diagrams, now look at the Let's start from this side to the left side. You see the population. The numbers are always placed here. So these numbers shouldn't scare you. They can put the numbers here in millions, or they can also decide to put numbers representing percentages on the x-axis. Always take note of that. For the age groups, they will always be on the y-axis, on the vertical section. So you look at that also over there. See the gap here. Um, there's something happening here. So from my view, when you look at it, 0 to 10, the 10 year gap, 10 to 20, then you see the deeper bars. This one has blue, deeper blue color compared to, yes. And then some, you come to this side, the female side, you have a deeper red color. Then there's something happening there. There's a change. So it goes up here, it grows. Then here, it shrinks. They, they are called bulges. So the bodies are like, they are bloating or they shoot or protrude. At a point so you see here means that something is happening over here now working age how many people within the population are capable of working so you get it so these people are capable of working and they will sustain the dependence so they are within this particular range look at it if your country's economy is good if employment rate is um, um, high people get jobs they are likely to find a lot of teenagers maybe around 18 19 getting jobs now look at the 20 25 all the way to 60 in some countries pension you 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 reach 60 you go on pension or retirement so then some to 65 maybe for some public offices you look at that 70 you are gone so this side begins to shrink and then gets to the top here age 100 uh here you're likely not to see a lot of it, but then we have some people who can live uh, to that age. Only few, only few. So you see that we don't have the protruding or the long bars here, both on the male side and the female side. So you see the gender split of the countries indicated. You always see the male on one side and the female on one side. These diagrams shouldn't scare you at all. Larger numbers, high the pyramid indicate high life expectancy. So if people are crossing this range, you see this curly bracket, it means that these people have high um, life expectancy. They will live long, very long before they die. So you see that over there. Now let's come to the bulges in the middle. We are still on the right side now. Bulges in the middle indicate higher fertility than normal, a baby boom. So the baby boom means that at a point then you see people giving birth to a lot of uh, children or new birth. And the new births now add up to the youthful population. So you see that that uh, increases. Apart from that, uh, because here is 40, 45, 50 years, they, are, they cannot be called babies. This uh, area or this particular section can experience a boom 
or an increase of bulge just because of migration issues. So when there is mass migration, where there is immigration, it means that people are coming into the country, entering these countries. So you can see this can typically represent those developed countries that we have people um, trying to get their way into and find a living there. Get So you see the migration event can also cause that. Coming down here, you know the young, 0 to 14, another dependent group in the population. So these bring the large numbers that we have in terms of the high birth rate. So at a point, there will be high birth rate, then at a point it drops. Then we start having migration influx, then people begin to come into the country, immigrants, then they re start recording high numbers at a point. This is very typical in those developed countries, as I've indicated. Now this one also explains it further. Look at the stage one, it's expanding. So this is expansive form, the triangular shape. What's happening here? High birth rate, rapid fall in each upward age group due to high death rates, just as we explained under the first type, which is expansive. Then it keeps expanding. So expansive, expansive. Then look at what is happening here. Then you have stage three, where you have a declining death rate, low death rates, more people living to old age. So you have here, means that definitely here, there's going to be high life expectancy, living to old age. People could live long before they die. Look at stage four. Now it is contracting. The bottom here is becoming narrower. Low birth rate is going to happen, definitely, because they are going to recall a small or less number of birth, but more numbers in the middle here, and then more numbers growing into the old age side. Then they can live long. That could get you to understand it further or better. Yeah, so basically, this is what the population pyramid is all about. So you look at all these dynamics, there's an essence of that. It's so important because the illustration will help us know the trends and we know how we can enforce the bed control measures, especially in these areas that are experiencing the high bed rates in these growing areas. So look at that and then it can also help in policy planning. Government officials or statisticians can look at that and know the information they can give to authorities in government who can use that to provide jobs, the amount of healthcare facilities, then we can look at education, the school facilities, the structures, the roads, then we can also talk about accommodation. So all these interpretations are necessary for our daily lives and they help a country decide on their economic policy. If you are studying this and there are simple calculations, it's not tough at all. If you are to calculate for the percentage, for instance, look at a group, there will definitely be the total size or population size given in the question. So when you pick the group, you pick that number and then you divide it by the total population. You want to get a percentage, you multiply it by 100 to get the percentage or obtain the percentage for that targeted group. That's all you have to know. If you have any question on what I've shown you or demonstrated here or something you have read to me, you can put it in the comment section. I'm sure you enjoyed this simple lecture. You can also explain to friends out there. Why don't you share this video for them to also enjoy and learn from it? Thank you for watching. Make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you again with another interesting lesson here on JCL Tutorials. Bye for now.